This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is on geology and we're discussing how rocks are dated, how we figure out the age of rocks in two different methods, two different ways. One is called absolute dating and the other one is called relative age dating. This is the Earth Science Classroom. It is important for geologists to understand and appreciate the age of the rocks in a certain landscape or a certain formation. And that will give you an idea of how long it's been there, how long has been erosion or deposition or any kind of changes to the landscape. So to understand the age of the rock is very, very important. So scientists and geologists can use two main ways to calculate the age of a rock. Now, the first one is more finite, more scientific, and gives you an exact age in years, be it thousands of years or up to billions of years in some cases with some rocks around the world, like in Australia with the zircon crystals with the oldest rocks on the planet, which are between 4.4 to 4.6 billion years. Now, how do we figure that out? Well, we look at an isotope. We look at an element within the mineral, within the rock, which is going to be radioactive decay. So over time, the atom is going to break apart slowly over a given time. So half of the element will break down over a certain time, which is called the half-life. And the parent isotope will turn into the daughter isotope. And we can calculate the ratio, and then from that point, work backwards to figure out the exact age within a very small amount of error so this is more of an exact calculation, whereas the more observation-based calculation of age is relative age dating, where you can use geologic principles like superposition, uniform terrorism, horizontality, lateral continuity, cross cutting relationships, inclusions, and we can use these principles, these laws, to figure out the rock layer in comparison with other rock layers next to it. Which one is younger, which one's older, and this is more of a, of a relative comparison rather than giving you exact age. So you might see that the rock on the surface is younger than the rock below it, deeper down, which is superposition. And we can also figure out when things happened based on unconformities and based on any kind of tilting or tectonic forces that could be applied and obviously any erosion or deposition. So we can figure out a lot from observations using the relative age dating, but we can be more specific and scientific using the absolute. Now you can also use fossils, which are inside the rock layers to determine the age, and these are called index fossils, where we know certain species or animals that create these fossils when they die, these lived at a certain point, a certain time, so if they're in a certain rock, we know that rock will be that, that age based on the fossil, and these are called index fossils. We can also use paleomagnetism to figure out the age of the rock based on the Earth's polarity and the switching of the electromagnetic field and how this is expressed in the alignment of the ferric elements within the minerals. So for a given landscape or for a given rock formation, you combine both the absolute and relative age dating, you can get a more conclusive and scientific understanding of the age and how these rocks formed in this in this particular location and it gives you a much greater idea of how these landscapes formed. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. And if you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.